Uh, good afternoon, friends. Stephen and Yana Benoon with Israeli News Live, and we have back with us Sister June Knight, Dr. Yay. June Knight, and so happy to have her on with us once again. Yes, uh, June, I hear you guys, uh, you and Brock and, and Laura, the family there, you've all gotten relocated uh, to a safer place than where you were, and especially with things that are going on I am very glad to hear that you guys are relocated because it doesn't look like Atlanta is going to be a very good spot to be in in a not so distant future. No, it's not. And I'll tell you what, if you are a traveler and you see the impact of the infrastructure being put in across this country, yes. you would see that Atlanta looks like the apocalypse, the zombie apocalypse is about to happen. And just the other day, I went to see my brother in Knoxville and it's, it's not as heavy with the 5G and the cameras every 100 foot, but it was terrible even from here to Knoxville. I'm like, what the world? Mm -hmm. I mean, the surveillance that they're putting on the road system now is terrible, Steve. Yeah, it is. And uh, over here in Orlando, we got 5G everywhere. And uh, I know there are certain cities that are more targeted for this in the beginning. I know that they'll have more and more that will have this, but uh, Orlando is considered a smart city. And, you know, so I can, uh, I can only imagine some of these largest cities like Atlanta, like Orlando, yes. uh, New York, they're all going to have all this, uh, all, all these things going on with this 5G, and it's not going to be good at all. Well, let me tell you something about the conventions about the Democratic Convention and the Republican Convention having to do with 5G. I think it's very interesting to note that the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are all the same about the increase of the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Both of them let everyone know that they are going to work very hard to increase technology, that they are going forward, both of them. And I thought, okay, people ought to be able to see that it doesn't matter if it's a Republican in there or a Democrat, it's all going to fulfill the UN mandate of the increase of the technology. Uh, Sister June, this is what, what, what you are saying. It's so true because they will, on the outside, disagree with certain points to divide Americans. But what yes. really matters for humanity, what truly, really matters, questions like 5G kill cities, right? Mm -hmm. uh, questions like vaccine, coming, upcoming vaccine. Uh, all of this, they agree on anti-humanity, UN 2030 agenda, they are united. Yes, they are. People on issues that, you know, I'm not saying issues don't matter, but we have to see through this that it's a bird with two wings. Yes, it is. Going to the same destination. Yes. You no. Know? But anyway, we invited you, Sister June, today to analyze the Democratic Convention and analyze the Republican Convention for us. As yes. you know, in Body of Christ, we all have different focus and different uh, gifts. And you, Sister, and, and we are the Bride Ministries, uh, is watching over us with uh, all of this politics going on and what's going on in, in that world. Yeah, uh, you have exposed uh, President Trump and 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 what what he's behind for real, and we tremendously appreciate you. So you watched both conventions. Can you start tell us what was this about? What what's going on in that area? Yes. Now let me tell you, I've been exposing President Trump's allegiance to the LGBT agenda and how he's been pulling the progressives from the left over to the right. Well, it was very interesting to note that at, from the very beginning of the Democratic Convention, they are trying to place themselves as the conservatives now. Hmm. And I thought, how funny is this? They are trying to say that they are the ones that are the solid, that uh, is very patriotic, and you can trust them. They painted President Trump, which I can see why they did it, but they painted him as a, a, a loose cannon. 
He is the reason that the country is being divided. His mouth dividing all the races, dividing people, that he is destruction to the country. They, they gave very different de definitions of him as a destructive force in the country. And they are the ones that are solid and can handle the country and can bring true unity was the platform of both sides was unity uh, between all, yes, between all of the people. And so when I was covering the Democratic one, they were out front with their LGBT allegiance. Like they actually showed guys kissing each other and, you know, the different scenarios of how they represent all people. Okay, then we have the Republican convention. And I'm thinking, okay, since they're presenting their self as the conservatives, uh, is Trump going to be true to his allegiance to the left and to the progressives? Because the log cabin Republicans, which have been in the Democrat, I mean, in the Republican party for over 20 or 30 years, pushing their vomit inside this conservative organization, they went public and said he is the 100% most loyal president and best president for the LGBT agenda ever. Well, this was the day before the convention. This was all pre-planned because President Trump shared their post and their video showing that he was, and he said, it's my highest honor. Wow. So he accepted the position that he is the best LGBT president ever. So I'm thinking, okay, yo sucker, let's see if you're gonna show that on national TV. So we get on national TV and it is patriotic overkill. It was too much. It was flags everywhere. And I was telling the bride, I said, you know what? This really worries me for the church because he really, really catered to the church. He was saying, God this and God that. And it was all ecumenical, of course. It was not the name of Jesus, God. It was the ecumenical God of the Abrahamic Accord that just happened, you know, Steve over there. It was, right. yeah. So he has Franklin Graham on there. Okay. Well, what I've learned from them is that they use the name of Billy Graham, the prestige and the honor of Billy Graham. They use him to bring the prestige of who they are to the stage, if you see what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. So here, here's Franklin Graham. And he's like telling them, you know, telling the people when he prayed over the meeting that day, he says, of my Lord and Savior, my personal Lord and Savior, and his name is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So I, I told the audience, I was like, well, that's good that he said the name of Jesus, but let's see what's going to happen after this. Well, throughout the week, they kept saying, you know, with our party now, you know, you can love who you want to love. They didn't come out and say, oh, they didn't blow up the LGBT agenda, but they said it all week. Like, you know, I'm the president and I represent all people and you can love who you want to love. And, you know, in other words, this big unity deal, but the fact that he's doing that and he, he gave the impression that he does this because he's, he loves you so much. I don't know how to explain it except that he, it was so overkill, over the top patriotism that I told my audience, this really scares me for the church because this tells me that they're going to tell us later, you are not a patriot if you don't take that mark. You're not a patriot if you don't take that vaccine. You're not a patriot if you don't do this, if you don't do that. Because he was so over the top, like when he did his uh, fireworks, he did it Trump. He spelled, everything has to be in his name, y'all know this. Yes. Trump, he said Trump 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the lady from South Dakota that has the, the president on the mountain, you know, the president faces. Yes. She was, she was speaking twice that week. And I looked at her and I thought, why is she 
continually speaking. And then I saw a commercial. She was on Fox News and she did a commercial and it showed a flash of the heads of the mountains, which we all know Trump is wanting his head on the mountain. It's all over his advertising. He wants to be immortalized, okay? Mm -hmm. So then it showed her in this next clip with Trump's head on the side of the mountain. And I thought, "Uh uh-huh, this is why you're here so much this week because you are gonna help to get Trump's head on the side of that mountain. Then what's the next thing we discover after the convention is over, of course, is that there, these Antifa and Black Lives Matter is now tearing down the heads of the mountain on South Dakota. I'm like, you've got to be kidding. You can't make this stuff up. No. So in the Republican convention, the whole scenario of them, they were saying that, you know, look, we all need to come together and, Trump is the only thing holding us back from utter destruction. They portrayed Trump that he was the savior of the entire uh, United States, like the Biden America. This is how they called it. This terminology really troubles me because they say Trump's America and Biden's America. It's no, it's our America. This is why I have the White House up here because this is our house. This is our, it's not Trump's white house it's not trump's america but anyway so he was saying you know in the in the biden uh country you know you would have utter chaos they wouldn't fund the police department it would be utter destruction but with me you know you would have peace and you would have you would have this and everybody would be accepted and all this And I'm thinking, what a farce. And one of the biggest proofs that I had to what I've been telling the bride about how President Trump has pulled the vomit. I call it the vomit. He has pulled the vomit from the Democratic Party over to the Republican Party. And he alone has tainted the Republican Party and just totally annihilated the conservative movement. He himself. Well, there was a woman on there. And she was testifying and she said, you know, I, I was socialist and, or I am a socialist in the Democratic Party. And, you know, I just, I came over to the Republican Party because, you know, I just really liked Trump. She came into the party because of Trump, not because she was turning conservative, not because she believes in the, in the Republican platform, but because she wanted to be a part of this Trump Republican party. Well, so they, yeah. they let us know that it's about Trump. It's not about the Republicans anymore. Well, there's, and, and I don't want to interrupt you. I want you to keep going with Yeah, this. go ahead. A couple of thoughts here. Uh, one, he was a Democrat. So exactly. they're just joining up with the Democrats. And, and secondly, you know, I said this early on about him, especially over the embassy move. Uh, I did a message a long time ago, and I quoted where Jesus said, I come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. But another will come in his own name, and him you will receive. Mm-hmm. And I think this, is, this could be, and maybe he's not that guy, right. but it could show why the obsession he has about his name. Well, you have Hmm. to understand that even in in, uh, Israel, right, they now have uh, things and streets after his name. They have Trump's. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. So, and then all of the Orthodox Chabad rabbis, they are leading rabbis in Israel. They are all advertising Trump. They're all advertising Trump. Yes. So... Uh, I think it's a huge deception. And as you said in the beginning, at least with Democrats, we know they're evil and they say it. They, they right, say it exactly. Straight. So you know where you stand on. Yes. You know who they are and it's clear. Yes. But with this, it's so sneaky. <laughs> and well, let me tell y'all one of the biggest shockers of the entire week at the Republican convention, check this out, was the rabbi the rabbi who prayed yeah listen to this 
I said, I told the audience, I said, oh, come on now, show your ecumenical colors. Let's see it now. Well, he gets up there and he says uh, that President Trump is pulling the nation back to the real roots of the country is basically what he was saying. And I told the audience, I said, do I hear Jonathan Kahn? Mm-hmm. because I know what Jonathan Kahn is about to do in just a few weeks in Washington, which is why we're going there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, do I hear this return agenda yeah. of going back to your Hebrew roots and going back, which is what the Abrahamic Accord is with this peace deal. Yes. And sure enough, guess what he said? He said, this is why Trump has make America great again wow yes that's why it's again that's because why. of the roots going back yeah they're yeah. going this is how they're going to bring in the noahide laws well yes, listen you are on to something big because uh venera is signing noahide laws every year and if you read the resolution in public law 10214 it says that this nation, supposedly this nation, was built on Noahide laws. So they're going, that's what, that's what Trump is signing every year. That's what every president was signing. If you read the resolution, it says that this nation was built on uh, values of, of the seven Noahide laws. Oh, okay, yes. I know what you're saying now, yes. That is, they're, they're on the education day. Yeah, on the education. That they do every year on the education. Yeah, yeah. Right, they're claiming mm-hmm. right, in that yeah. resolution that this nation, United States of America, was built on seven Noahide laws, which is total lie. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, that's what they're resigning yearly. So now when he says, make America great again and count with the return, return to what? Yeah, exactly. Return to it's Israel. not Jesus Christ. Right. It is not Jesus. I, I, I want to hear is he going to specify return to Jesus? Well, no, you guys are just only revival. I'm trying to think up. There's a scripture in my mind that goes with this. Get y'all keep going. I'm going to find that scripture, <laughs> but it applies okay. to what's happening. Mm-hmm. And I can't, I, it's y'all, I'm, I'm right here. I just, I gotta find it. <laughs> Sorry. Are you, you familiar ahead. with a man named Pachinik? Pachinik, no? Pachinik. No. Pachinik. No, 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 not, not Pachinik. Pachinik. Steve, Steve Pachinik. Yeah. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Then we won't discuss this, but uh, he was working for Kissinger. And uh, oh, yes, and he just recently on Alex Jones' show spoke against the Constitution. And he said that Constitution is outdated. But he's a Trump supporter. Wow. Yes, and he's like a big, big name. He's, he's considered alternative, me, alternative um, yeah. media. media. Or yeah. And he's on Alex Jones' show, right? Yeah. And he said out of his mouth, and I, I have a video if anybody wants to see it, but he says, oh, Constitution is outdated document. It's outdated. And then he mentions we need to... A return to the original, and uh, he says there is only one religion. One religion. What's the religion? I mean, that's a mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, where is this whole thing going? If you are a little bit of investigative journalist, you understand they're going for Noahide laws and all of these yes. Jews. For Trump, the Chabad Jews, right? Yeah. And on the Chabad.org, official, official site. Yeah, They're saying that if they, if the Messiah, when the Messiah returns, he's going to enforce Noahide laws on all, all the going on all the nations. That's that's what on their official website. Yeah. So this is very fishy. Y'all ready for it? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Hebrews chapter six, where it is impossible for those. This is about the Jonathan Khan 
coming up return conference because like you said they're taking the people they're putting them back up underneath the rabbi saying that that's their roots. That's right. That's right. This is what was warned by the author of the book of Hebrews. It is impossible for those who were once enlightened and having tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again into repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. For the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh oft upon it and bringeth forth herbs meet for them by whom it is dressed receiveth blessing from God. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected and is nigh unto cursing whose end is to be burned. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak, all right? Now, that is exactly what is happening right there. See, the thorns and the briars, this is what, when the Pharisees, sorry. That's how I when the Pharisees, when they crowned him with that, well, they say the Roman soldiers crowned him with the thorns, but... It's still that it was the it was the it was the Jewish authority, the Sanhedrin, they handed him over. The thorns and the briars, and Jesus talked about in his parable how that the good seed was sowed amongst the, some were th or some seed was sown among the thorns, and, th and that was the cares of the world that choked. Right, out. right. Uh -huh. So they're what they're doing with this return thing is they're taking the people back. To what and they're gonna and they're gonna call this a latter rain movement. You watch. Mm -hmm, they are. Yeah. Exactly. That's why the uh, scripture says right there, for the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh oft upon it, bringeth forth herbs meet for them uh, whom it dressed, receive blessing from God. But that which beareth thorns and briars. See, for us, that latter rain brought the gospel of Jesus Christ to us. But for them, it's going to be thorns and briars. Because wow. as it returns to its vomit, so they are also going back to that same vomit again. Oh, I got you. I got you. Uh -huh. you what I'm I got you. This yes. That's why he says in there, you know, you crucify Christ afresh. When you're saying that the blood of Jesus Christ is not good enough, now we got to go up underneath the rabbis. When Jesus came to deliver you. Come from on. <laughs> Preach it. Okay? He did like That's right, I mean. from the law, but yet you want to put us back under the law. Exactly. Then you exactly. crucify Christ afresh. Because why yes. was he crucified? They said he broke the law. So you got to go underneath the law. Mm -hmm. That's, That's he right, exactly. Too. He said they want you under the law. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now listen, Jonathan Kahn is actually saying the only purpose of this event is for revival. It's not for the repentance of the United States. This thing is globally. And they even have Michelle Bachman, who is the pastor to the UN. I'm like, pastor? She works in the UN now, but they call her a pastor to the UN. I'm like, what an everlasting joke. She was the one over there in Israel, if anybody remembers out there, saying, you know, you don't have to accept Jesus. I mean, the Jews already have a covenant. It's like, what the world here? The, but see, this is what the New Apostolic Reformation, the NAR, this is what they teach. They believe that the Jews do not have to get saved, and that's why they're calling the extremists the ones that, are, uh, that say that Jesus is the only way to heaven. They're anti-Semitic. Yeah. Oh, you're saying, okay, well then, that's going to be half of Christianity. The people that stand up for truth are going to be considered anti-Semitic. And this is what I was telling everybody about President Trump. Okay, his first four years. Who did he focus on protecting? Oh, it wasn't the church. It wasn't evangelicals. The ones that yes, have sir. him surrounding, yes. He protected the Jews. He protected Israel. He didn't protect the Christians. No. So, uh, hello. And then you want to go over there and do a peace accord. And then I just posted today on our television page that uh, the Arab United Arab Emirates has agreed 
that Israel will not be able to protect its sovereignty, which means Israel gave up some of the, am I right? Israel gave up some of their land for peace. That's the peace deal we've all been talking about, people. I mean, the United Arab Emirates are now partnering with Israel. So now you've got the Jews. Now this is them if they're, this peace accord is right. The Jews and the Muslims are all flying together. If you understand the impact of what, it, what that means, you think, how can that even be possible? Because what about the Quran text? Do you believe what your own word says when you call them infidels and you call the Christians infidels? Right. But yeah, are you going to give up? Are you going to renounce your faith? So you got to see the hypocrisy in all this. Well, it's ecumenical movement. Yes. Um, they, they are uni uniting three so-called Abrahamic religions, right? Right, right. Making Jerusalem an international city. They're going to build this, uh, they're marrying the vision. You know what I mean? They, they yes. are artificially uh, trying to fulfill this for, for Messiah, but it's actually Zoharic doctrines that they're right. And um, Yes, uh-huh. So what, what will happen here is that more and more Arabs are gonna join in and watch because that's what they want. They want peace, yeah. peace, peace in false, you know, false yes, exactly. peace. Right, so, right. Uh, but they're doing the same thing. Christians are doing the same thing because they're making mm. bridges. Uh, yes, with, they are. Uh, with the Jews. So they're all making this bridge for the new world religion that's brewing in a background. Yes. You see, they're dealing first with economy. They're going to uh, yeah, do, uh, digital mm -hmm. dollar, yep. uh, new world economy. Uh, yes new world government and then they're gonna go into new world religion these are the yes. three things you know that they're gonna do well y'all do know that we have over five thousand evangelicals now over five thousand that have signed a document against the who the who the extremist the other christians because i wrote him in, in my book right here the american expose that they're going to be the ones that turn around and kill us yeah you know because they're going to kill know. the extremists I well anyways that yeah they signed a document yes Hold on. Link to that book what document the sister Can they you signed yes they signed a document telling the other church that they want you to go along with this u.n agenda they want you to get a mask to wear a mask they want you to get the vaccine yes. and listen to this they want you to turn in each other they yes they want you to do again to go against miss they're calling it misinformation oh well, that's another thing by the way about the conventions on both sides they both were attacking misinformation and i believe this is how all of us are being targeted right now because they they are working they're calling it misinformation but really it's these people that speak against their agenda Yes. So they want other people to expose them and take them down and et cetera, et cetera. So that's why you see the onslaught attack. One of the reasons I believe you see the onslaught attack against y'all, you know, well, is based upon that. You know that there is a website that they are all signing their names who is for vaccines and they're actually saying now and using scriptures that uh, they're twisting scriptures, especially Romans, 13, yeah, and then the, mm -hmm. the Peter scripture in that Apostle Peter spoke of to obey authorities, and they're twisting these scriptures, and they're saying that to to take a vaccine is a loving thing to do to protect your neighbor. Yes, and to use a mask is a loving thing, Christian thing to do. And yeah. they're signing their names, and if you saw. All of these names, they're like that's the same list I'm talking about. It's up to 5,000 now. Oh, okay. So, you yes, that's the same one. It was 2,500 started out, but now it's over 5,000. Yes. Are you keeping yes. the names of organizations on this? Yeah, they've got it public on there. Yes. So yeah, they've got it publicly who's on there. And it is some of the president's team. <laughs> 
Oh, Some of his God. evangelical team is on that list, which doesn't shock me because they're all in this together anyway. Listen, you know, the Michelle Bachman, you mentioned her a little while ago, and she contacted me back before Trump ran for president and was requesting me to remove one of the videos I had done about her. Uh, and it was a positive video. Mm -hmm. And I asked time. her, I said, Michelle, I said, uh, why would you want me to take the video down? I said, it doesn't put paint you in a bad light. And she says, well, I appreciate that, but I need you to take it down. Now, I didn't realize at the time what she was up to. She was, well, trying, is it? She was trying to distance herself from anyone that spoke the way that I do that's more for equality and things things no, like that. against Vatican. Well, you against spoke, the Vatican, you spoke yes. Against the Vatican. Yeah, because the Vatican had not given her a release yet that she was clean from that. But it was after I removed the video, not long after that, and I'm sure there was other places she was trying to clean up as well, that the Vatican came out with a statement that she has now distanced herself from all those people that are against the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. What? Yes. Yeah. yes yes can you believe that well she is ecumenical to the bone that's the reason yes, she that is. she's yes, that she is. she is in the un because she is you have to be willing to work with all these different dynamics like i told y'all when i was at the un last year and i saw all the evangelicals down there with all the other religions they've all just merged basically Yes, and, and Michelle Bachman was also yeah. at the Knesset in Israel doing uh, their, uh, they were doing this uh, official Bible study between Christians and Jews. I don't know if you know about this, but yeah. they, uh, yeah, in Knesset, which is like a White House here, the, the, in Israel it's Knesset, right, right. right? So they did yes. this official Bible study uh, between Christians and Jews and the authority was the rabbis it wasn't evangelicals it was the 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 rabbis were teaching christians how to interpret that's Bible. how it was it uh hagee's event i went to last year yeah john it, hagee it, whatever rabbis uh interpret as prophecies fulfillment that's the they're teaching the christian pastors Mm -hmm. And Michelle Bachman was there at this uh, Bible study, and she she was very positive about it. And just like uh, you are saying, she's uh, saying that Jews don't need Jesus to be saved. Right. There's well, that's the same with John. Name under heaven given by man, except the name of Jesus yes. Christ. And, yes. and every knee is going to bow. <laughs> there, there is no other name that you but for salvation except the name of Jesus Christ. It goes against, um, even when you read Apostle Paul, oh. he, didn't he like so tried to gain Jews to, to the gospel? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and everybody's beating up on Paul too. Yes, yes. So, well, I want to tell y'all some latest news about President Trump. Oh yeah. Okay, President Trump was on Laura Ingram the other night on Fox News and she and he was saying she asked him the question are you going to make it mandatory for people to get the vaccine well my thought was people why has this question not been asked from day one mm -hmm. they have avoided this question because we all know what their real answer is do you know he wouldn't answer you he can't. he no he skirted around it and I thought people if this does not tell you that why he is assigned a million man army plus a vaccine czar is to make sure that every one of you get that vaccine you know so the plan is still moving forward bride and also at the conventions they tried to make it look like it was the democrats was the ones the reason everything was shut down and the reason that uh the country was like it was i was like what a farce he is the one doing every bit of this. It is his name on the Open Up America Again plan. He is the one that partnered with all of the globalists to define, to define in this Open Up America Again plan how we're going to live. Remember, he's the one that shut the church down first. He's the one that put the mask in to shut the mouth of the church first. Don't sing. He's the one that put together the task force. 
And you want to sit there and blame the Democrats? What a joke. Right. It, it, it's a it's a farce. But, you know, the sad thing is, is that the American people, why? Because Fox News has went along with this, mm-hmm. is believing the lie that the Democratic Party is the ones that are wanting to shut everything down and they're the bad guys and they're the reason it's like this. Like he had nothing to do with it. I'm like, can you believe this? It is such an unbelievable display of you know obvious lie in your face lies i've ever seen Mm -hmm. but especially for all of us that have been made aware from the very beginning okay well for medias like me i've I've watched this thing all of those all of his press conferences from the very beginning examined every last one of them read the paperwork coming down the pipe from all of this that he has produced himself and then to see you know six months later to see him turn around and shift the blame completely on the democratic party when he's the one that has orchestrated the entire thing is so it's insane to watch it's like you're watching the twilight zone (laughs) that's what it feels like yeah it it is a show a theater it is you know uh divided nation cannot stand so they're dividing Mm -hmm. americans and so many are buying it you know there is this q movement right and they're saying that he is imprisoning pedophiles and uh saving children what do you think about that is that true well first of all everyone needs to know that the q movement is a psyop yeah he is a psyop for the new world order the Q movement is actually partnered with NAR, the New Apostolic Reformation. A lot of them partner with that and they say, oh, Q said this, Q said that. And, you know, they're partnering with it. But here's the deal, people. You have to look at what Trump has actually done. Did he not say in the beginning four years ago, let's lock her up? Yes. We're going to lock her up. I'm going to drain the swamp. I'm going to get rid of Obamacare. And they said, I'm going to pull out of the UN. I'm not a globalist. Oh, well, really? What have you done? Have you done any of that? Do you know that abortion has been worse since he's been in? Because now he's supposed to be the most pro-abortion, I mean, pro-life president Mm -hmm. ever. But yet in his presidency, we have a state like Virginia, where I was living when they did this, the governor admitted you know, when those children are born, it's called infanticide. You know, we will kill those babies if the parents don't want them. And it's like, okay, you're the most pro-life and you're the one that hammered it down and said, nobody's going to do anything that is going to kill babies come across my desk. Two years later, when they announced this, did he do an executive order and put a stop to that? Absolutely not. Mm. People, well, you got to look at what this man has done, you know, because here's another thing about Q that everybody needs to pay attention to. Q is always saying Trump is going to, Trump is going to, he's going to hang on, trust the plan. Mm -hmm. He's even asking people to sign a piece of paper that they will trust the plan. What? Yes. Yes. Like, yeah, like a loyalty, like sign on the dotted line. But here's what you got to remember. All of you people out there got to remember this. Is this not the same thing that we're hearing from NAR? Revival's coming. The Great Awakening's coming. It's over there. It's over there. It's the same thing as Q. Yes. They're keeping people believing this facade you know, and now they're saying that this great awakening is going to happen whenever the great reset happens, which the world economic forum, I keep telling everybody is the brain to the beast, which you know, is the AI. Yes. Okay. So the AI is doing the great reset in January. Then you got Dutch sheets, one of the biggest NARS, you know, leaders out there. And he's also the one that partnered under the Pope and sold out the evangelical church, but he is actually doing a conference in October called what? You can't make this up, the Great Reset. So you've got, yes. One more time. Who is doing the conference? Great. This is Dutch Sheets. Dutch Sheets. We don't know him. 
Well, he's one of the big NAR people. He's the one that partnered with Kenneth Copeland. Oh. And all these NAR leaders, like Lou Engel and all of them, and they met with the Catholic Church at Kairos 2017. Okay. You can look it up at kairos2017.com. Steve, so, Steve looking him up. I think yes. I know who you're talking about. I got his picture in my brain here. So they about. basically sold out the United States and the people and the Constitution and everything that we stood for. Now the great reset is super good. Now it's something great. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but the thing is, is there's going to be a price for that. You know, now there's even a senator saying, you know what? Why don't we just give everybody a thousand dollars? They're proposing giving everybody money to take the vaccine. <gasps> so you're going to pay them off? <laughs> you're getting yeah, but stalkers. This, I didn't know is, that. <laughs> yeah, this is part of that uh, great reset is there's going to be a price in order for you to be a part of this new economy. You're going to have to give up the name yeah. of Jesus. I, I guarantee you're going to have to do this. Yeah. The extremists have got to go. Wow. I so, did not know they're proposing give everybody thousand dollars. It's just like, because they know dollars have no value. It's not backed with anything. It's like giving yeah. this paper right here to everybody, monopoly money. So yeah. they don't care. They will just offer it to you because they know they're getting rid of dollar anyway. And they're bringing- Which everybody needs to know, Miss Yana, that Trump is not going to go down in a sinking ship. He is not, this economy is collapsing, people. Yes. It is collapsing. And he is not gonna go down in a sinking ship. So how he's gonna be taken out, I don't know. There's many prophecies that, you know, all this other stuff's gonna happen, but he will not go down in a sinking ship. His pride won't let him. I can tell you where he's going to go to start with. <laughs> where is that? Well, no, we're going quite there, June, but yeah, <laughs> but uh, no, they're planting a false flag on DC and they're going to make it look like something happened to him, mm -hmm. but he will actually be put in that little underground train that goes from DC to Colorado. And that's where he's going is to Colorado, the underground city there. He will reemerge, but by the time he reemerges, I've been told that the nation will be in so bad of chaos at that point that his reemergence won't even matter. Well, wow. the thing is that that's one plan. They have plan A, plan B, plan C. Yeah. And we don't know which one they're going to employ. It depends on right. the situation and reaction of people and all of that. But that's one of their scenarios. Yeah. Um, well, let me tell y'all something. I am going to Washington in two weeks. They, this is such a farce what they are doing because they are calling this the White House siege. They're going to take over the White House for 50 days prior to the election. Okay, you tell me, President Trump, who told everybody, all of you uh, governors out here, I am the man in charge. This is what he said with the Open Up America Again plan. And this was in uh, April or May. I think it was May. He goes, I'm the man in charge. If you don't do it the way I like it, I'm going to make sure you do. Okay, so you want to brag you got all this power and authority, and they're threatening that they're going to take over the White House and for a 50-day siege, and you're going to allow this, and you're going to allow D.C. to be taken over and to paint Black Lives Matter on the streets. Wait a minute. Isn't Washington, D.C. supposed to be a neutral territory? Right. It's not even a state. Why? Because it belongs to the people. It is neutral zone. So you're going to allow these uh, terrorists to deface the city and to take it over. And you're going to hide in a bunker. Remember when he hid in a bunker, Steve? Mm -hmm. It was right after that when he come out with that Bible. Remember that? Yes. And he held it just like this, which I believe was the call to begin persecuting the church. Mm -hmm. And you're going to sit there and you're going to do that. And now you're going to say it's going to be taken over for 50 days. Well, I will be there and I am going to record what's really going on. From what I hear, they have boarded up all the windows around in the downtown area on the bottom floor. 
like a war zone. It's like, okay, so you're just going to allow these people to act like this. You see, they're preparing this, Joan. You exactly. Can see, you can see this is artificially prepared event. Exactly. That's what I believe in my heart, for sure. Yeah, this is yes. not a natural event. This no, is it's all not. This is plan to cause yes. the downing of this nation, downing of Exactly. Nation. Bring America down so the new world order can rise. Exactly, sister. That is the truth. It is the absolute truth, people. Let me tell you, 2020 is, is the transition year over to this reset of turning everything over completely to the New World Order. People say, well, you know, if I don't vote for Trump and then you're expecting me to vote for Biden, then I can't do that because we'll be destroyed so fast. I'm like, people, there, there is no more Republican. There is no more Democrat. This is not even the same America. Right. Yeah. This is the new world order we're dealing with. You, there is no more lesser two evils. No. Now, you see? I don't think this is time to vote. This is right. time to realize where we stand. Yes. And really go deep into Christ. That's right. And, That's and, right. Uh, repentance on one-on-one -on -one basis. Repent and then go in, seek Jesus because the persecution is coming. Yeah. Yes, that's right. It is terribly. And one other thing I want to say before we get off here, because I know y'all have another interview is, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of the big name preachers come down. We're seeing a lot of them come down. And I believe, I don't know if it's all staged because we do have like all of these uh, CEO uh, leaders that have all come down this year. I mean, it's a lot of transitioning happening. Mm -hmm. I just, I wish people would look at it from the big point of view and not just believe in what these certain leaders are saying. People look at the big picture here. Look at what is happening here. Look at how the Republican party, uh, the sons of Liberty, they, they said something today. I had to share it. They said that, the Republican Party is now the old liberals. They have, the new conservatives are the old liberals. Mm -hmm. And it, that's exactly what the Republican Party is. It's gone are the days of standing up for the Constitution anymore. No. It's not about that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's all about Trump, 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 Trump. Right. Yeah, and you know, I June, know. another thing too, the, the reason why all these big ministers are, they, they show they're exposing them and, 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 and I think this is intentional exposing them as well. Uh, not to say that it doesn't. I've been not, wondering. Uh -huh. But it's also because they want people's faith in Christ, in Christianity, in the church to collapse. I agree. In order, I agree, to, have I a, in order to have a remedy to have the uh, cure, they want to have a disease. They they want us to bring later the solution right. for, for for spirituality, and you watch it's going to be under this Noahide laws. Yes, uh -huh. because that's another thing I meant to tell you about the conventions is they kept saying our decline of morals. Yeah. They kept bringing up morals, this and morals, that, which we know is the Noahide laws. Exactly. Noahide yeah. laws is big in bringing morals back. Yes. yes. Uh, right. So it's, it's, it's pretty obvious. Well, for everyone here, uh, I, I forgot to introduce you properly, <laughs> June, because you are Dr. June and you, June Knight from uh, uh, We Are the Bride Dr. Ministries. Yeah, but also... Oh, we got to get the rest of the good also stuff Also, she's a White House... <laughs> yes. White she's House a White correspondent. House correspondent, and she's author of 10 books. Am I correct? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Books. So uh, what we will do is leave you with links for her you YouTube. And I think, uh, June, I, aren't, well. you do, aren't you doing every day a uh, meeting with, with the people on YouTube? Yes, right? ma'am. Uh -huh. Yes. She's yes, we just, got a, we just got a building and we just got an office. So now we'll be doing more professional news the way that I know I should be doing. <laughs> but I want to say one other quick thing. These four books that I released this year is based upon when I served in the White House for a year. And what God has showed me, the big picture of what we see happening with this merging of the one world religion, the one world economy, and the one world government. 
which by the way, President Trump, Steve, he put off the G7 until after the election. Now, why would he do that? Why would he put that off? Another thing, the Vaccine Congress. Uh, the Vaccine Congress is happening the day after the apostate event in Washington. It is September 28th into October 1st. At the Vaccine Congress, see, y'all have to understand that they are mixing the technology with the vaccine. Yes. So in this Congress, they are talking about even one of their discussions was, how are we going to make this mandatory? That is one of their topics. I didn't know there will be vaccine congress. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. We're now, having it in our building. We're having it here. We're hosting a convention here in the building for four days and we're asking people to come in and help us to decipher because they have got speakers. Listen, the top of the, all the new world order big players will be at this convention all day long from eight o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night. I need help because we're going to have it on the big screen and we'll be watching it and taking notes because we had to pay $1,150 for this. The bride did. The bride paid, I said, bride, I need $1,150 today to pay for this Congress. They paid for it. So what we're going to do is play it on the big screen and have everybody help me to decipher. They said this, who said what, because we need to know, bride. We need to know because they're mixing it with this technology and this is going to affect us. Absolutely. This is not, they call it vaccine. That's not a normal vaccine. Like, no, it's not. It is like not. People Absolutely are used not. to vaccines. That's Absolutely not a normal not. vaccine. Uh, That's right. It, it will have some really, I have to say that, some witchcraft Kabbalah concoction. They, they mm -hmm. concoct it. Okay, that they're mixing stuff and putting in human bodies. No, no, wait. I know what I was going to tell y'all about the uh, thing that they had today. No, this is from the White House news uh, that come down the pipe from the White House. The United Arab Emirates and Israel said that they are coming together in unity with this uh, accord that they did for what? A vaccine. Yeah, they are bringing a vaccine. Yeah. So what is what is your peace accord? What does your peace accord have to do with the vaccine, Steve? What do you know about it? What are they? What are they? I know Gilead isn't that from Israel, the Gilead company that's behind the therapeutics. Yeah, and and no. Moderna. well, even Moderna, they, it's an Israeli yeah. that's the head chief doctor on the Moderna uh, program that uh, Trump is using to do his warp speed part of the vaccine. Wow. So a lot okay. of the is involved in this. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So the Muslims and them are merging together <laughs> to implant the entire world. Yeah. You can't make this stuff up. You can't. This is, this mm -hmm. is absolutely obvious what they're doing now. And um, it is. Well, June, tell me again, what are the dates you're going to need help? Okay, it is September 28th to October 1st, and we will provide food. We're just asking people to come in, and we'll rotate, like have five or six people in the room with the live streaming, you know, and they will need to just take different notes of, you know, what they're saying, but this way we have all eyes. We, I'm but we might you. we might be able to help Steve. We might. We, we we will see if we could. I would love to take part in oh, this. That and would if be you awesome. provide food, then I might take <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all can stay at my house. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Joe. I just thought it would be fine. Uh -huh. to yeah. But anyway, yeah, absolutely very important work you're doing. I wanna Well, thank let me tell you this, I'm going yeah. to I'm going to DC September the twenty third until the twenty seventh. So pray for us safe travels. I have to go get my White House credentials and all the other meetings I have there, plus the the deal at the National Mall, which by the way, Franklin Graham is merged with Jonathan Kahn, you know, to pull his prestige with Jonathan Kahn's event together. This this is so obvious. The true bride it is. is also evil. But uh, 
June, you are our eyes and ears over there. We need to support you in this. So please you, support and help June. This is definitely yes. in every Not way you can. just the ticket it take to get there, but she's yeah. going to need help financially to cover you know, the cost she needs of the hotel and things hotel. like that and travel expenses. Exactly, everything. So please, she is working very hard for us to, so we know everything that's happening and we can analyze the events. And I yes. can't thank you enough, June, for standing yes. up for truth and y'all too i feel the very same way about y'all i do your service you're doing to us and we appreciate you tremendously much and thank you and we will have more often this kind of briefing so we can update our listeners of what's happening we'll definitely do it after washington for sure <laughs> yeah. are you gonna do any live events from oh there? yeah you know i am okay so <laughs> Yes, ma'am. The, the money that it costs to go there, the 1100 that they charge, is that to be able to get in to the events that are there? No, because guess what? Guess what? They are not doing it live. They was going to charge 2500 to get in. Yes. Remember, I was trying to raise the 25 No, then they changed it to it's all online. So yeah. you pay the $1,150 to get the online access. How about Khan? Is that free event or, or is it going to be event that is Well, I'm going to tell y'all something about this. It is free, but let me tell you what a farce this whole thing is. Because you have got anarchy happening in D.C. Can I get an amen? Whether yes. it is staged or whether it's not, there is That's anarchy. Right. And right. you're going to invite the Christians. Excuse uh, I know, me. That, that was a big red flag to me. I yeah, excuse me. Too. Yeah, you're going to invite the Christians. And not only that, Franklin Graham is asking them to march around Washington. Okay. Oh, he so you're going to kill. Invite... Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. leading the lamb to the slaughter? And How I crazy also, can you get? Yeah. I also want to warn mm -hmm. Christians who are going there that mm -hmm. there are silent weapons. Silent weapons are frequencies. And I'm sure they have prepared with frequent 5G frequencies all the entire city and area where christians are going to be and they can increase frequencies as they wish and mm. they can do mind control through those frequencies they can mind control you this is in rockefeller documents and Rothschild documents the document is called silent weapons for silent wars okay wow yes and and this, i haven't read that Yes, silent weapons for silent wars. We are in a war. It's yeah, not I know that, yes. That they're changing food genetically, putting vaccines, so the medicines, or they call medicines, are changed. They're using frequencies, and these 5G towers can be increased or decreased to oh, several yeah. megahertz, depending. And on mm -hmm. every frequency, it does different things to your body. It can cause crowds to go crazy and it want can, to attack. Right. It can cause, uh, they mind control. Oh, I see what you're saying. Exactly. Well, I had, when I had uh, internet installed in this building, I was talking to this guy. And I said, you know, I said, I'm so thankful for this town that we don't have 5G and all that, <laughs> you know. And you know what he told me? He said, our company, which is Xfinity, he said, we don't deal with 5G. But he said, I'm going to tell you something. He said, we watched a video of these high tower buildings that are putting 5G in the sides. He said, what they do is, is they put it in tubes in the side of buildings so that it hides the 5G so the public doesn't know. But inside the tube, it says 5G is in this tube, call this number. He said they watched a video that if you do not call that number and you stay around that radiation, it will literally melt the skin off of you. Yeah. Their skin melts within five minutes. Yes. This five is, minutes. This is very serious. And also they can increase frequencies I'm sure they prepared the city of Washington for this. And when they call crowds of Christians, be very careful, Christians. If I were you, I would yes, not be careful. Go there. I would mm -hmm. I would not be at this particular be very careful because these are kill frequencies, kill 
city. Well, something else that everybody's got to consider, let's use common sense. They have planned this since January when they come public and you have not changed the date. How did you know you're even still going to be able to do this? Yeah. With everybody else shutting down all across the world, but you still kept this event going. Why? Because this is the new world order. Because it's pre-planned. It's yes, part of the exactly. Plan. It's gone, knew exactly what's coming and he knew exactly. what he's doing. Yes. Well, Jewel, yes. again, thank you. I do have another show to go to. So okay. Thank you. But we are going to be doing this more frequently. We will watch you live from Washington. And again, yes. thank you. We will include all of your links in the description, right, Steve? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you send and those to me as well, sister? So I know I yes. have every link you yes. want. And then check okay. out her, her ministry, her YouTube, and then website and all of her books. Yes. Uh, her wonderful books. Thank Amen. you so thank much you. for coming. Bye, y'all. Good night. Good night. Good God night, bless you, sister. June. And God all bless. right.